Good morning guys from Bangkok. I've woke up super early today. It's seven o'clock on a Monday. I've been hearing a lot lately from other foreigners that are in Thailand saying, oh, Thailand's become too expensive. It's just too expensive to come here now. There's a lot of this kind of talk flying around. So today we're gonna see, is that true? I'm just gonna go out on a regular day, but I'm actually gonna try and eat more than I would usually eat for the sake of the video. And we will see how expensive it is to stay in Bangkok. If you were like me and you're staying here long term and renting, you get a very big room like the one I'm in now. This is my condo. You got the TV, the aircon, nice big space, desk. Great view of Bangkok. We dead in the center. We're on Soy 13 between Nana Plaza and Soy Cowboy. Got Soy 11 over there. So pretty much in the center, as you can see, the train's coming past down there now, into the station. So cent centrally located, and this room I pay 13,000 baht a month for. This condo, you can see, it's got the bedroom in there. It's got a little kitchen area too. And the bathroom. So I think that's a pretty, Big room for the price, 13000 a month. Normally, with all the bills included, just add on an extra 2000 for me. So 15000 all told during the month. And that's what I pay for my condo. So you can work that out on the daily. I'll put everything up on the screen anyway. So yeah, let's go out and get some breakfast. First things first, coffee in the morning. And all around Bangkok, they have these machines called Taubin really cheap way to get your coffee and easy so i'm gonna go with the latte iced you choose the sugar level 60 percent pay now and as well with this one it's handy if you have a toy phone number because you get a free one i think after a certain amount of cups it's always one, two, three, four. Just like that for 40 bar guys, you've got your Taobing coffee. It's morning here now, so like everyone's going to work. Rush hour traffic's just beginning. And I'm just walking over the overpass, like going past Soy 11 and Soy 8. So, this statement that I've been hearing a lot lately that Bangkok's too expensive now than what it was before, it's a bit crazy to me because I believe it is expensive here too, but it's also cheap as well. So like for me, Bangkok's one of the only cities in the world where you can live as expensive or as, as cheap as you want. Just taking the stroll up Sukhumvit Road towards Soy 4. You can see there's a bit of traffic, everyone's going to work. And what I'm gonna basically do today is just go for like a regular day. I'm not gonna do anything special. Just go out, eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, as you do. Maybe get a few beers later, go somewhere else to show you some like shisha bar or something like that. And yeah, just like, spend some money and at the end of the day we'll see how much we spend i'm actually going to eat a lot more than i would usually eat as well for the sake of this video and probably drink a few extra coffees so let's go maybe we'll have to buy a broccoli stick as well to show you the price of those Okay, so I've stopped off for breakfast in Soy 4 in the Blarney Stone. I actually used to come here quite a lot when I lived on Soy 4, but I got a, what they call a flying start, sausage, egg, tomato, bacon, some toast, and it comes with a tea, and it costs 140 baht. So, handy if you like craving a fry up, I suppose. And I haven't had a fry up for actually quite a long time. I did used to come here a good bit before, but... I think I made a bit of a mistake today as well, because I think on Monday, street food's not like going on as much for some reason. So yeah. I don't normally eat this kind of breakfast when I'm here, to be honest. I just normally eat like Thai food, but 
today I'm going to try and to show you as much as I can, like what you can eat and what it costs. Mod, why they don't have street food on uh, Monday? No. They don't have street food, right? Yeah, yeah. Why? Uh, only Monday because uh, government say uh, clean for uh, street. Clean the street. One day. I always forget about that, you know, and on Monday today I was thinking I want to go and eat cow can mood and I was like, oh, it's Monday, I cannot. Not many places in Soy 4 is open at this time, only here. As, as you can see, that was pretty nice. Finished that off pretty quick. So just going to enjoy the tea and for 140 baht, to be honest, for a quick little fry up, it's not bad. Not quite as good as Ireland, but not bad. I always showed you the Falang option for breakfast. Now we're on Soy 8 and I'm going to show you. They have loads of little street food cards, so I'll show you like a Thai option you can get for breakfast. You can see, we've got some fish, chicken, pork. Why well, I always get the stewed pork. It's the best, this one. The stewed pork leg called Kao Kamu. They give with egg and rice. So I'm going to get this, this is what they got. Kao Kamu, I'm jam. Thank you. Oh, you want one for here? Take away. Oh, we'll eat them there, right? Okay, okay thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, so the pork breakfast comes pretty quick. We get the rice, the stewed pork, the egg, and some like pickled cabbage or something like that. But, guys, I'm full already, to be honest. I'm only eating so much today to show you how much I spend in a day because everyone's always asking, oh, it's getting more expensive. You cannot like go out every day and I'm telling you like I eat out every day today I'm gonna eat like probably triple what I normally eat but anyway and this this food is way better than the food we was eating in the cafes earlier and it's gonna be like way less Look, they give you loads of the pork fat too, which is nice, I like the pork fat. Mm. This is what I mean as well. You can go in like the restaurants that surround here in Sukhumwit and pay like, say 200, 250 baht for a sandwich in a nice like coffee shop. Or like the breakfast had this morning, the foreign breakfast, or you can just come down a little alleyway like this and get some nice Thai street food. I just showed you the Thai style breakfast for like 80 baht, right? And everywhere in Thailand there's 7 Eleven, so second coffee of the day, and it costs 40 baht for a nice latte. And it's pretty nice. The coffee in 7-Eleven isn't too bad, to be fair. It's not like as good as you'll get in the coffee shops, but it hits the spots. All cafe. Not bad. The reason I'm doing this around the Sukhumwit area today is because this is the place more tourists are gonna come, and it's like one of the more expensive places in Bangkok. So I'm trying to eat in like, maybe like restaurant style places and street food style places so you guys can see like how much everything costs for me i can like understand why some people say some things are expensive but not like not like everything even for us coming from europe if you're going to go and eat in like fancy rooftop restaurants it's still not the same cost as what we'll pay in europe so for me it's still like quite cheaper than europe quite a lot Coming up to lunch, I don't really want to eat, I'm so full from the two breakfasts and two coffees I've had already, but I'm on Soy 13 and we're going to go in one of my favourite restaurants here which is in trendy building called KMB. This little place here, just down from the German beer house, they've got like a huge menu in there of Thai food I eat here probably every day or every second day, so let's go inside and get a pad kebab. Had Kabao has arrived and this one costs 100 baht. I love to eat this one, I come here a lot to eat it. Of course, you gotta add on this chili and the fish sauce all over it. Oh, 
menu they have in here is so big too they have like literally so many different Thai menus you can try so I recommend if you've never really tried Thai food to come and eat here for sure check out that chicken egg rice mm. the pad kapo in here as well is pretty good it's like one of the better ones I've had around the Sukhumwe area for sure mm. look at the size of it too it's like really big so like I'm gonna struggle to eat this because you've seen already a bit like a fry or that pork meal for breakfast now this if you come to Thailand pretty much the two Thai meals of it today you have to try it like the probably two of my favorites Pad Kapao and the Kao Kao Mu the pork knuckle super nice What I love about Thailand. I've just had that in that little Thai restaurant and across the way I have the German beer house too. So you've got the best of both worlds. You've got like Thai food, Falang food and behind me now I'm just getting a banana shake. On every soy they've pretty much got these like little stalls as well where you can get noodles, shakes, fresh smoothies, all that kind of thing. So it's really good. You have the best of everything. Nice restaurant, small street food cart. So let's get the banana shake. Picked up the banana shake, 40 baht, fresh banana smoothie. Mm. Nice and creamy, cannot beat it. 40 baht. Now, I've been walking around all day, kind of just trying food and stuff. So I'm going to chill for a bit and we'll see you tonight. Where we'll go out for a bit of entertainment and something to do. I cannot do this video and not like finish out till the end of the night. It's night time already and I'm in soy five and we're gonna I'm gonna show you it's also known as soy Arab or the Arabic stuff down here. So we're gonna go for some shisha and some more food. In this place here that's just by Gram 5, they sell the best kebab and do some amazing shisha. So let's go inside and check it out. I like to come to this place sometimes because sometimes in Bangkok you might not want to drink and I think this is a really good place to come and chill, check it out. We've got the sofas, we've got the shisha, apple and mint, costs 400 baht. So you can just keep that smoke and relax like so. So as well in this place I've ordered a shawarma as well because they do the best shawarmas for me in Bangkok. One of the best shawarmas actually I've ever ate. And they also do loads of like nice mixed grill, loads of nice meat. So definitely come and check out this spot if you're in Bangkok. The chicken shawarma's gone. It's pretty decent size, 100 bar. Let's get into this bitch. Mm. I'm telling you guys, I don't know what sauce they put in this, but this shawarma is the one. So nice. Okay guys, that's the end of it for today's video the total spend I will put on the screen now as you can see for me Bangkok it's like one of the most livable cities for sure in the world to be honest there's always like fights on it how much you can spend a month but it depends on you you can live for as expensive or as cheap as you want here so let me know what you guys think in the comment like I'm just chilling on my rooftop now by the swimming pool it has the jacuzzi here too so yeah, you guys let me know in the comments what you think, how much would you spend in a month here, and see you on the next video. Ciao!